here Ariana from Crafting Happiness here in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute reversible cat toy and this is also called uh, a mood toy because it's got a, a happy face on one side and then when you turn it inside out uh, it has a sad face and this helps little children express their feelings and you can also um, use it to change your little one's uh, mood. So uh, today I'll be showing you how to crochet this. This is crocheted in one piece. Uh, you, there is not much sewing involved. The only sewing you will have to do is when you attach the ears and uh, when you embroider the mouth. Other than that, it is crocheted in one piece. So uh, let's get started. For this pattern, I am using a run yarn in grey and in uh, white and uh, a matching hook, a 5mm crochet hook. You'll also need pins, um, scissors and a darning needle and uh, two pairs of plastic doll's eyes. Um, these are 16mm in yellow. It doesn't have to be in yellow, it can be in any color. You can even go one size uh, lower, 40mm uh, uh, plastic doll's eyes will do as well. You will need to make uh, two pieces, two identical pieces uh, for the body, one in white and one in grey. Um, I will do the white one for you and uh, we will start the first round with a magic ring and then in the magic ring we will make six single crochet. five and six and now um, this piece is crocheted in in the round uh, without turning uh, you will need a piece of yarn like this one or a stitch marker to mark the beginning and end of each round uh, I'm gonna use just a piece of yarn it's, it's so much simpler but before you do that uh, you need to close the magic ring so pull the tail tight until the magic ring closes and uh, this is your first round now let's continue with the second round and um, like i said use this uh, piece of yarn to mark the beginning and end and on the second round we will be increasing in every um, every stitch so uh, six increases all around and an increase in amigurumi it's basically two single crochet made into the same stitch so this is one increase and then into the next stitch make two single crochet and so on until the end of the round and you don't even have to count because you know when it's um, when you ended up uh, the round uh, you will uh, try and put push the uh, hook through the stitch and you can't because you have this piece of yarn right here then you know it's the end of the round you can either count uh, six increases or just make them until you have reached this point then you know it's the end of the round and uh, this is how your second round looks like now let's move on to the third round and on the third round we start with a single crochet and then into the next stitch we make an increase And this is your repeat section right here one single crochet one increase and repeat it all around six times in total so let me show you one more repeat and then i'll just jump at the end of the round um, so we don't make this video too long and too boring so uh, the repeat starts with one single crochet and then one increase and now i've reached the end of the round and we are going to move on to round number four and on round number four we are going to uh, start with a single crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase and this is again your repeat section single crochet in the next two stitches followed by an increase let me show you one more time and then i'll just jump at the end of the round so single crochet next single crochet in next and then increase in next 
and this is how round 4 looks like now on to round 5 and we start with a single crochet in the next 3 stitches so we have 1, 2 and 3 and then an increase and this is your repeat section right here single crochet in the next 3 stitches followed by an increase so let me show you one more repeat then we jump at the end of the round so single crochet in next single crochet in next another single crochet in next and then increase in the next stitch and this is how round uh, 5 looks like uh, on round 6 we start with a single crochet in the next 4 stitches so let's make those that's 1 that is 2 3 and 4 and then an increase in the next one and this is your repeat section uh, 4 single crochet 1 in each stitch followed by an increase so again I'll show you one more time uh, before uh, I jump at the end of the round so and this is the third one the fourth one and then an increase and this is how round six looks like now on to our uh, last increase round round number seven we will start with five single crochet one in each stitch so that's third fourth and fifth and then an increase in next and just like the other rounds this is your increase um, section right here uh, five single crochet followed by an increase I'll show you one more uh, repeat and then I'll just jump at the end of the round so five single crochet one in each stitch and five and then in the next an increase And this is how uh, round seven looks like now the next two rounds are just uh, rounds of single crochet so uh, basically just single crochet in every single stitch on rounds uh, eight and nine I'll just speed up and I'll meet you at the end uh, where we start round ten and this is uh, how they look like once completed you can see now the stitches are started to gather uh, turn it with the right side up and uh, this is what we have so far we start around 10 and around 10 is just a round of um, single crochet uh, stitches as well but uh, on this round we will mark the placement of the eyes and we will mark them with uh, two pieces of yarn so let's start round 10 by making a single crochet in the next five stitches And then we place uh, this piece of yarn to know, okay, between these two stitches, we will uh, place the eye. Uh, next, make eight single crochet, one in each stitch. Five and six and seven and eight. And again, we will uh, place this piece of yarn to mark the second eye location and the rest of uh, the stitches are just single crochet I'll just jump straight at the end uh, of the of the round and I finish round 10 this is how the piece looks like uh, with the placement of the eyes now uh, rounds 11 through 14 um, are uh, just rounds of single crochet and uh, I will just uh, jump straight at the end just single crochet in each of these rounds so again rounds 11 through 14 single crochet in each stitch and this is how the piece looks like uh, now that we have all single crochet rounds done and now we are moving uh, to round 15 and uh, this is a decrease round so we will be starting it with a decrease 
I use the invisible decrease which is less obvious than the regular decrease and to do an uh, invisible decrease you'll have to work through these front loops of the stitches. So from bottom to top insert your hook through the front loop then back down and again from bottom to top through the front loop of the next stitch yarn over pull through those two loops and then yarn over and pull through uh, the loops left on your hook and this is how uh, an invisible decrease is made and next uh, do um, a single crochet in each of next five stitches so let's do them that's one two three four and five and this is your repeat section for uh, this round and a decrease followed by five single crochet let me show you another one more repeat and then i'll just jump at the end of the uh, round so make an invisible decrease followed by five single crochet And this is how uh, it looks like around uh, with round 15 done you can see how the stitches start to gather the, the base now we have one more decrease round around 16 and this starts with a seven single crochet one in each stitch we have one two three four five six and seven followed by an invisible decrease and this is your repeat section single crochet next seven stitches uh, then a decrease and you repeat this four times around so i will show you one more repeat make seven single crochet one in each of the stitches that's number four five six and seven and then a decrease and this is how around 16 looks like you can see now um, how, more obviously how the uh, stitches are um, gathering at the top uh, we will continue now with round 17 and on this round we start creating the legs and the tail of the cat so start with a single crochet into the first stitch of the round and then chain six and then into the second chain from the hook make a single crochet and then a single crochet into the next four chains that's two three and four then slip stitch into the same uh, stitch where you single crochet and this is going to be one of uh, the legs now we are going to make um, a single crochet into the next eight stitches so that's one two three four five six seven and eight and again we'll make one of these tiny legs by chaining six then single crochet into the second chain from the hook and single crochet into the next four chains that's two three and four and slip stitch into the same stitch where you made a single crochet and again we repeat uh, the same section eight single crochet one in each stitch so one two three four five six seven and eight then we chain six 
single crochet into the second chain single crochet in the rest of the four stitches um, chains actually and then slip stitch into the base in the same stitch where you single crochet now let's repeat this one more time eight single crochet two three four five six seven and eight and then chain six single crochet into the second single crochet into the next chain and the next chain and the next one and in the fourth one and slip stitch at the base now we've made all these uh, four tiny legs we need to create um, the the tail of the cat so we will uh, make four single crochet one two three and four and then we will chain ten seven eight nine ten uh, if you want a longer tail you can chain more it uh, makes no difference in a pattern you can make it as long as you like i just made it ten uh, chains long now into the second chain from the hook make a single crochet and then um, a single crochet um, in every of the um, rest of the chains. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight and now we are going to slip stitch at the base and uh, this is our uh, tail that's the cat's tail like i said uh, you can choose to make it as long as you like so uh, now uh, next we are going to make two single crochet And we finish uh, this round on round 18 we will start uh, with half double crocheting around each leg so we will skip that last stitch left in the previous round and start uh, crocheting along the leg these are the exposed chain chains so we will make five half double crochet one in each so like I said skip that stitch and then half double crochet in a first loop, second, third, fourth, and fifth. In the top uh, chain, the one that you have skipped at the beginning when you've made the chain of six, we will make three half double crochet. So that's one, two, and three all three into the same um, loop and now we are going to crochet down the leg and make five half double crochet one in each of those uh, stitches so that's one two three four and Five. now skip one stitch and single crochet into the next five stitches one two three four and five now we repeat this section right here two more times so you have to repeat it three times in um, in total um, you skip one stitch 
five half double crochets uh, up the uh, leg three half double crochet on the top stitch then five half double crochet down the leg skip one stitch and make five single crochet so uh, i'll show you again another repeat skip one stitch and then five half double crochet uh, along the leg that's one two three four and five and then right here at the top uh, stitch we are going to make three half double crochet one two and three they are all made into the same stitch rotate your work five half double crochet down the leg one two three four and five then we skip a stitch and we are making five single crochet one two three four and five and now again uh, repeat uh, one more time so let's do that skip one stitch five half double crochet up the leg three four five then three at the top into the same stitch one two and three rotate your work going down the leg uh, make five half double crochet one two three four five and um and now uh, we uh, skip uh, one stitch and make five single crochet one two three four and five so those are your three repeats right here now on this leg it's slightly different because we have the tail so again skip one stitch and make the five half double crochet up the leg okay and then three at the top of the leg now rotate your work and down the leg we are making five half double crochet and then we are skipping one and make two single crochet that one and two now along the tail we do not want to make it so wide so we are just going to use the same technique but we are going to single crochet so um, single crochet in uh, this uh, nine loops along the tail so that's one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then at the top make three single crochet one 
two, three. Rotate your work and down the tail we are making nine more single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now just uh, make two single crochet in the uh, next stitches. And we are done with this round. And this is how it looks like so far. You have the placement of the eyes and you have uh, the um, four legs and the tail. Now the placement of the eyes was just uh, um, for your information if they do not match the legs you just have to move them along. Obviously here they are not matching perfectly so we are going to uh, move the eyes um, somewhere here so they can match these two legs.